hello everyone welcome back to my channel long time no speak i have not uploaded a video in ages like i genuinely do not know where the time goes like i just can't cope with life i really can't i don't know if anybody else struggles but i just find it so hard to fit everything in that i want to do in life like i genuinely every day i wake up feeling stressed because i just feel like i've got too much to do like working i also want to stay healthy i want to work out i want to see friends i want to see family i want to do youtube on alone time i need to look after my dog i need to like not even a mother i don't even have children and i'm already stressed in life like it's too much going on i've not uploaded in, i think it's been over a month but i have actually started vlogs like i'll do an intro like last weekend i did an intro right here good morning everyone welcome back to my channel where has the time gone like honestly i just forget to carry on with the vlog like i started one last saturday and i was actually going to a gsp meetup so wilbur his breed german shorehead pointer i found it on facebook this meetup which was literally like 10 minutes away from me um so i did that on saturday and there was another puppy there and there was like maybe like six six or seven dogs um none of them really wanted to interact with wilbur to be honest because he's a puppy and he's annoying except from the other puppy um but it was so cute so that was actually really good i, I joined the yeah gsp like facebook group and i love it i love being little and went to the meetup and it was so fun i was gonna vlog that and then i just got so swept up in the day that then it just didn't just didn't happen i've just been so terrible at it i really have but happy saturday i'm gonna be vlogging today i don't know whether i'll just vlog today or maybe i'll vlog a couple days we'll see how this video goes let's try and get past the intro clip and actually film the day and um, i've got quite a nice day today i just got like harrison's at golf all day so i'm just having a nice paint's chipped there for god's sake um just having a nice like chores today i've got a lot of like cleaning and things to do i've got two appointments today and um yeah i've already taken the dog walk this morning had my coffee and i've read my book and i'm just gonna get started with the day now i need to do some chores i've also got some zara bits to show you i'm gonna do a zara haul in this vlog because that was something as well that i kept trying to feel like i've literally got so many boxes of zara stuff in this room and i was like right i'm gonna film a zara haul but i just feel kind of over like the sit down zara like the the hauls like sitting down and um talking about the piece like i don't know i just literally i'm just going to show you in this vlog my favorite pieces i just feel like that's more I'm, I'm into that more rather than the sit down hauls i just i'm not feeling them anymore so i'm going to do a little zara haul in this vlog i'll do that later also ignore this jumper is literally vile i need to buy some new loungewear because all of my jumpers and things that i wore around wilbur like when he was a young young it, to be fair still like it now but everything's just kind of like covered in hair he bit all of these drawstrings like this is a disgusting jumper but it's so comfortable it is clean but it just doesn't look clean um i really need to buy like some nice new loungewear i did nearly make an adenola order but i just couldn't click the checkout i did like a few workout sets and then like a tracksuit and it was like 350 pound i was like i just couldn't bring myself to to check out on that also just like booking wedding stuff for the minute like i just i feel overwhelmed with all of my to-do lists so i've just been and then like deposits for stuff like it's just like money is flying out but yeah i feel like i'm moaning i'm not moaning i feel like i'm sounding moaning i just i feel like a lot of people feel like this they feel overwhelmed with how much they have to do each day it's like a constant like um but yeah happy saturday i'm gonna do some chores Bubba, come. Good boy. My breakfast of choice at the moment is just mama on toast. And I've given Wilbur just a licky mat this morning. He's got peanut butter and banana. Keep him busy for a little bit. I'm this close to finishing. I called Mr. Fury. 
I kind of fell off it a little bit. Like I was really into the first one, even though people said they found the first one hard to like get through. I found the beginning hard. And then once I was in it, I was like in the book. I found this a lot hard to get through, which makes me worry because this is a lot of people's favorite out of the whole series. But I'm back into it. And then I just ordered the third one, which came yesterday, the purple one. Um, which is even bigger but yeah i'm chapter 58 and i have got back into it i just fell off it a little bit really finished. you know when i fell off it was when they started introducing uh maybe skip if you haven't got if you haven't started reading it yet um when they started introducing like cassian and um oh my god why have i forgot his name asriel more like all the names that like, they introduced them all within like the same chapter and like all the names i was like you know you just can't get your head around something and it's like i kept rereading the same lines i think that's when i fell off a little bit because i just for some reason i just found it really overwhelming or the introduction of all the new characters and the new court and everything but i'm back into all of the new one and i need to decide what books i'm going to read on holiday i don't know if these are holiday books like, are these screaming holiday books for you? I'm not sure. I feel like I need, like, a crime thriller and maybe, like, a rom-com. And then maybe I will take whatever one I'm reading when I go on holiday um, in case I do feel like reading it. But I just don't know whether it's, like, a holiday book, you know? If it's, like, by the pool, on the beach, that kind of vibe. I feel like I need a really good crime thriller or a nice rom-com. Although, saying that, I've just... I've always read so many rom-coms. I just haven't really been into it recently. Uh, I just played a game with Wilbur where I basically hide all these treats around the living room and he has to sniff them all out. He actually goes mad for it and it's so cute. He's getting so good at it. Like as soon as he, like if he walks past one, he's like, because he gets the, the sniff of it. Um, but yeah, he'll just play in and I might read my book for a little bit and just chill. What? What? What do you want? I think I will read after this her other ones like i think it's called house of glass i'm gonna read all of them as well because i am i think i am a fantasy girl i think i do love it like i love obviously the vampire diaries twilight harry potter i'm all about it you know okay i just had the most stressful chaotic morning so i had an appointment at 12 o'clock I was getting my Botox done and I put Wilbur in his crate to leave him, go to leave. Is my car key there? No, because basically my car key blocks our garage. So if Harrison needs to get in the garage, he take, he, I don't know why he does, he takes my car key off of my keys. Anyways, I'm trying to eat my camera. Um, so I go to get my keys and only my only my like house keys are on there, not the car key. And he keeps telling me that he put it on the breakfast bar when he clearly did it because I'm standing there and there's no key there. So I'm literally running around the house like screaming, shouting because my appointment's in 10 minutes. I'm going to be late. I've paid a deposit. So I'm like screaming, shouting like, I've got an appointment, like blah, blah, blah. And I literally can't find it anywhere. Um, so I'm like, don't know what to do at this point because I need to get to this appointment. And then anyway harrison ended up bringing his mum so his mum really kindly came and picked me up but i hadn't told harrison that it was a botox appointment i just said it was an appointment so i think he thought that it might have been like a, i think he thought it was a doctor's appointment or something so then i had to then say it was a botox appointment so now i've now got a, like he'll know that that's what i went for but now i don't have a car key because i don't have a spare key i lost it um so yeah i don't know where my car key is because he has misplaced it and I need to get in my car so but thank god i was still able to get to the appointment luckily i didn't have to cancel it but i don't know where my car key is so that's really stressful so yeah i just went and got my botox done i say my botox i've only ever had it once before but i just get a little bit in my forehead um just to well stop some of the movement really yeah obviously i, I couldn't take my camera or anything because i ended up getting a lift instead because i thought i was gonna well i'm obviously supposed to be driving um and wilbur barts the whole time we got a text from my neighbor to tell us basically to shut up and he parked the whole time which is just great um at the gsp meetup that i went to on saturday the other woman who had the puppy he was a few weeks younger than wilbur so that she was really struggling with leaving him as well i think it's some i think it's like a trait of the breed that they get separation anxiety because sometimes i will leave him and he's fine like i because i've got a camera in here as well i check him for like 50 minutes like nothing and then he just goes mental barking howling but he knows by now like he knows that we come back like you know how they just need to learn that 
when they left that you come back like he knows that now like we always come back we've done it a lot of times but he's just not it just doesn't settle oh, so it's just really draining um but yeah now i just chew my jump off stop it but yeah i just went and got my botox done and i just feel a bit stressed and flustered now because i don't know where my car key is my forehead's a bit lumpy um i'm gonna go and i'll get my nails done later as well but i'm gonna chill for a sec because i just feel a bit flustered just making my lunch i haven't had this in ages i ordered it this week because i was stuck on what to do you know you're kind of like stuck in a rut and i kept having smoked salmon rice bowls for lunch so i wanted to mix it up so i've got um, an actual salmon fillet in the air fryer then i rub pesto on the top and then slice plum tomatoes on top so it goes in the air fryer for like 12 minutes and then i have it with the side of asparagus fill it with oil salt and pepper it's just a nice Little lunch is really quick and easy, although it does stink out the whole house of fish for the day. What are you doing? Get your ear back. Um, yeah, I always get stuck. I always just repeat the same. Like, I will probably have this every single week now. I'll order every week on my online food order, and then I'll reach like five weeks. I think that's enough for that now. I'll go on to something else and just repeat that over and over again. I don't know where my key is. I can't find my car key, so. Honestly, I thought it was such a good day as well. Like, you know, we're just having a really nice. <coughs> I must have got a sore throat. You know, we're just having a really nice day, and it's just completely ruined my day. Like, because I just feel stressed now. I'm like, where's my key? Like, I need to. I need to drive tomorrow. I'm supposed to be going out. Maria's obviously coming around looking after Will. Well, like, it's just ruined my whole day, and now I'm in like a bad mood. Good morning. It's just before 7 a.m. right now, and we'll go off to a Meadows. And I'm also going to meet my friend Emily as well. I'm out of breath because I'm actually running late. Although, to be fair, Emily's running late as well so we should be fine but we're gonna go and have a nice early morning walk through um this meadows which is really pretty um, i am back from my walk i forgot to film my walk when i met emily but we just went about an hour um wilbur's recall around dogs is absolutely horrendous like he just absolutely adores dogs and he will just pelt for them anyways i'm back in the car now um hiding so We've been really like struggling with Wilbur's um, separation anxiety. So done loads of research and basically just building up minute by minute. Literally like I leave him three times a day and each time I leave him I build up by a minute. So I started with 15 because I knew he was comfortable with 15 minutes and I'm now up to half hour. So I have to just sit in my car um, just because, I mean yesterday I popped to Sainsbury's but I don't get connected, like I lose service up the high street. So I, I like to check the camera to make sure that like it's going okay and I can keep building the minutes up. Oh, it's quite tedious and boring, but then I just have him on the camera and then I just watch and make sure that he's not barking so the neighbours don't complain. But I've been reading my book, which he actually ripped up. I was so angry because, you know, when you're just ri I I've been so into this book, like, could not put it down. And then I was in the bathroom and I came out and I could hear him shredding something. And he was shredding this and I literally was so upset because I was really enjoying it. But luckily, he only shredded, like, the first few pages and I'm already on chapter... 10 i think so it's still readable oh he's disappeared but yeah i'm just gonna sit here for half hour read my book and yeah hopefully he doesn't bark and hopefully this works because the so yeah i looked into it and kind of the two most thingy suggestions were sort of taking him out of the crate because he might be more comfortable building up minute by minute or get another dog so those were really the top options um so i'm trying this minute by minute he's disappeared that makes me nervous oh there he is yeah i'm gonna read my book i'm on what chapter am i on oh yeah i'm on chapter 11 really loving it yeah we're just really enjoying your book it's all falling apart I, I, I feel like everyone's like when i'm on tiktok on um, book talk even everyone's favorite i feel like is the second one and i i didn't struggle with it but like i really fell off it and i didn't read it for ages like i, I wasn't hooked um 
He also stands up now. It looks so funny and looks out the window. <laughs> he stands up on the table. Um, yeah. I'm going to read my book for half hour. And hopefully he just goes to sleep. He probably won't. He just stares out the window. As I'm sitting here in my car waiting for the half hour mark, I just thought I didn't actually explain that this vlog... Um, just ended the other day when I had that whole key dilemma so because obviously I was vlogging that day and I stopped because I was in the worst mood because obviously I didn't have my key and I was just really stressed um we spent all evening ringing auto locksmiths the RAC we couldn't get anyone out I was so stressed like literally in the worst mood crying like oh palava so then the next day um I kind of gotten over it by that point. I was like, Joe, you know it is what it is. Like, I don't know when I'm gonna get, get a key. I can't get in my car. Like, I can't go anywhere. Um, I was I was supposed to be going to the office like the next week. Um, so yeah, I just kind of come to terms with it. And then I put my coat on to walk Wilbur. Put my hand in my pocket. My key was in there. Like that whole palaver, that whole day, I spent like crying, angry, arguing because I was like, you've lost my key. Um, and it was me so i think he must have taken it off and put it on the top of my keys and then that morning when i walked wheel by i must have just picked them up as a bundle not realizing that they were separate but what's so annoying is that evening i didn't take wilbur for a walk with harrison because i'd normally we normally go together and then he went on his own because i was in a bad mood i was like you know what i'm not gonna come and if i had just gone and put my coat on that i wear to walk wilbur i would have found the key <laughs> like i literally had such a bad day like the worst evening like i was supposed to be vlogging and i just had like a plat like you know you just kind of like a routine set out for your day and i literally spent the whole day like on the sofa angry like ringing everyone i could think of to try and get the ski and i had it the whole time it was in my fucking coat pocket like am i okay like what an idiot but i'm relieved because at least i have obviously i have the key and i've been driving since but that's what happened with that that's why the vlog just stopped because i literally spent the whole evening crying on the phone because i was just so angry that my key had been lost and it hadn't been lost i had misplaced it basically um yeah that's what happened with that what an idiot i am on 26 minutes currently and he's just sleeping on the sofa i've got four more minutes and then i'm gonna go back in i'm really hoping this works just this routine every day building up and then he knows what to expect i think yeah, he just needs to know that I leave every single day, even though it's painfully boring. Um, I need to do it in the mornings, lunch times, and then once in the evening as well. But yeah, okay, that's why that vlog ended so abruptly. Um, <laughs> I was just so relieved that I found it, because I didn't have to go through the whole ag of getting another key. Although, to be fair, I really should get another key, because I need a spare key. I should learn from this lesson. Um, but yeah. It was in my coat pocket the whole time. Yeah, we're going to commence the summer holiday kind of haul. This is the only thing that's not Zara. Um, it's like a knitted halter neck dress. Um, this is from ASOS. And I actually have not ordered anything from ASOS in the longest time. The only reason I did an order was because I needed some new bikinis. And I just feel like they're a good place to go for loads of bikini options. Um, I just did a little bit of scrolling. And I saw this, I literally love it. It's like a knitted, you know, like the knitted like crochet um, material. And yeah, it's just a halter neck, ties at the back. And then nice and tight and then it flows out. Excuse, I actually really need to uh, tidy my room, my bedroom. But um, yeah, this is the first I got from ASOS. It wasn't actually that cheap. I feel like it was like 40 pound, but I did get 20% off. So I, it must've been like 30 or something, which I don't think is too bad. Um, probably more about right but yeah i'm really happy with that i feel like on a holiday with some sandals for dinner or like a nice lunch or something i feel like this needs to be a bit further down um yeah i'll link it down below just I feel like you get a better better little look of what it looks like in the material that room's really dark on the camera for some reason My first holiday outfits. Turn on the light. It's so dark in here. I've got the blind, the shutters shut because obviously I'm getting changed and stuff. But this is now the Zara bits. I need to wear some sort of like cover up under this because it's a little bit see through. This is a knitted two piece set. Um, but I think for holiday, I'm obsessed with it. It's just a little um, like vest. Um, it does actually do with buttons up at the back, but I can't do it myself. So it's a little bit tight around the neck, but it's just a really nice knitted 
thick brown material and then also a midi skirt i think on holiday with some heels or you could wear this with just sandals um maybe like a lunch or i think like gold heels in the evening would look really cute it's like a nice little two-piece the only thing i'm thinking is i don't know if it's going to be like a little bit hot because it is like a knitted material you can kind of see better there the material that it is yeah i don't know if it's going to be a little hot but I really like it together. My hair is just going to become more and more messy as this clip as these clips go on. I don't know why I thought it would be a good idea to do a try on clip with a tight bun. Um, but the next two pieces I got was this satin black skirt. I actually got this in two sizes and I'm keeping both sizes which I feel like is really overboard. But um, this is the extra small and I don't mind it low waist. I just don't think it fits as nice as the small. The small's a bit looser and like hangs off of the hips a bit nicer. But I thought for the extra small, if I wanted to wear it with like a bodysuit or probably not this, obviously not this top, but I wanted to wear the skirt high waisted, I could do it with the extra small and it fits a lot nicer. Um, but yeah, I do also have the small as well, which I think looks a bit nicer on the hips. Um, so I've got this satin skirt and then again on holidays, I thought it would be nice with sandals, but also here you can wear this with trainers and just like a t-shirt like this. This also I got from Zara. It's one of those like slinky um kind of like swimwear feeling tops uh, it was pretty affordable and i just feel like i will wear this so much in the summer i just wear plain black and white t-shirts all summer this kind of outfit with just some trainers i think would look really cute um, yeah it's a nice thin material and it's a nice fit as well i think got this in a small and then this is the extra small and then i also have kept the small um as well which is excessive but i just feel like i'll get wear out of both of them and then i also picked up this top which i think is called a boat neck when it goes across your um chest like that i love the shape of this but like on holiday um with skirts like this i just love the style of this i think it's really i don't know it just looks more it's got more to it than just like a plain uh vesty kind of bodysuit um it's a really nice kind of length as well it is stretchy so you could pull it down if you wanted to and i actually put this up in a white as well um because i thought that would again look nice with the satin skirt i don't know if they did other colors yeah i just love the style i need to cut obviously these um tacky things out but i love the style of it across the neck i have already worn the white and the only thing i find though is that it doesn't really stay like it, whenever you're moving it just kind of moves obviously with you so i'm constantly kind of going like that and trying to get it back to stay how it should look across the chest but it just kept kind of going like this and then i don't know it didn't look as nice but i still really like it um and i was wearing a coat as well because i obviously was wearing it here and it's absolutely freezing but on holiday hopefully you're not moving around as much having dinner or something it should kind of stay well i hope in that position but yeah i like this little outfit together with some sandals i think would look really cute i'm obsessed with this next set i feel like for a lunch with some sliders or i feel like you could even wear this in the uk i don't really know what to to be honest but um it's just a really nice halter neck ribbed top nice thin material so it'd be good for holiday um obviously a halter neck and then just some nice loose becky trousers and these are actually a really good length on me zara trousers are always horrendous like my height i'm five foot four and they're always so long um but these are a really good length they will look really nice with sliders and trainers did this in two other cards and they did it in i think this is the green or was this the gray i think this is green and then they did a gray and a Ooh, I don't know actually. Maybe a cream they did it in. But holiday with some sliders or a nice lunch or something will be so cute and comfortable and nice and cool as well. They're so loose. I really love this colour. I think, yeah, I'm pretty sure this is the green actually, and they had like an actual grey. Because this is this is kind of like a grey green. But I think they had an actual grey as well. And I think I got small in both, I'm pretty sure. Just out on our evening walk. I'm out of breath classic how long have we walking 10 minutes we was having a lovely time um sometimes if so brown dogs oh my god sorry I'm so boring like i was just about to talk about his training again it's so boring you know don't worry about it what's going on there he is hello um yeah if you take him to the woods we'll probably be out here for about 40 minutes or so oh my god i'm out of breath i not even walk at much of a pace but i'm really excited because tonight 
we're going to watch the baby reindeer finale and i've been loving it i haven't been this much into a series in ages like i usually fall off of um series towards um the end like i was really into the gentleman and then by like a few episodes and i was like mm, sorry i got cut off there because i saw someone walking their dog but yeah so into the baby reindeer series like literally loved it um so on the finale now um just binged it so i'm really excited for that bless you Should try to get a picture of him actually on this camera like a nice quality picture <coughs> Dinner. This is one of my favourite dinners. It's so good. Um, so I just put some Thai sticky rice in the rice cooker. It takes half an hour. And then I'm doing coconut milk and Thai green curry paste. Um, I do my Thai green curry with pink prawns and baby corn. It's just not my favourite dinner ever. It's so good. I actually got, I don't, it was from Sainsbury's. I could t no, it wasn't. It was like a green curry paste, which I mixed in with this and it made the curry insane. Like it was so good. Um, it actually came as like a substitute, but I don't have that. But I literally just mix half a jar of this with the coconut milk. So easy. I just, I just add a few, like, I just add a little bit of garlic granules, um, salt, pepper, chilies. That's it. I just, I am just gonna part boil the baby corn first. I like the baby corn to be really soft. Um, in the curry. guys i am off to bed i had my evening shower washed my hair my hair was so greasy i don't actually remember i feel like i hadn't washed it for longer than a week but i feel like i look so weird i'm out tomorrow for um this camera i swear to god focus on me what is wrong with you i'm out for a meal tomorrow and i just pictured myself with a side party and i don't really know where they came from because i've had a side party since i was probably in year 10 maybe um i don't know where this came from this like need to see it but i washed my hair and dried it in the side party and i feel like it actually makes you look so different changing your party like i feel like i look completely different i don't know how i feel about it harrison said he prefers me with the middle part in so i don't think i'll be doing it again but i just thought i would change it up and i'm going to curl it tomorrow for um this birthday meal but i've got my retainer in so i have got a list but i hope that you guys enjoyed this video this catch-up vlog i'm really sorry for the lack of videos i really need to get back on it with being consistent like i said i feel like i really struggle with just fitting everything in that i want to fit in in a day i find it very but I'm going to try to do better. I will also link the few Zara bits that I showed you in the description box as well as anything else that I mentioned. I actually ordered like, quite a lot from Zara but it mainly all went back. And I just feel like there's no point in showing you things that I do not like. Like I wasn't fan of the quality, the fit, the way that it looks. Like what is the point of showing you something that I do not recommend? Like I don't see the point of it. So I just showed you the bits from the big order that I did that I actually am keeping. That I actually like the product, the fit 
the quality so i don't know i feel like that just makes way more sense rather than doing these big zara hauls and it's like okay i don't actually like 50 percent of it like 50 percent of it's going back but like this is what it looks like do you know what i mean yeah i just feel like this hair makes me look so different i don't know i feel like i don't look like myself i hope you guys enjoyed this vlog please give it a thumbs up if you did and also give it a thumbs up if you would like to see more vlogs from me more regularly not with such a big break in between i really need to step up and keep up with it i feel like i want to do what i eat in a day next because i've been so out of it with my eating i feel like what i eat in a day is always get me back in the groove and like gives me like sometimes i even this sounds really good sometimes i even look back at my own what i eat in a day because obviously i've done this for like quite a few years now what i eat in a day videos that i forget meals that i used to cook for myself sometimes i'll look back on one from like two years ago i'm like oh my god i've not had that in ages and then it gives me a little bit of inspo so i feel like i'm gonna film what i eat in a day soon as well um so definitely subscribe if you haven't already and thank you so much for watching and i will see you in my next video bye